Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly. Here we talk everything Agile, Agile tools. Today we're doing another Jira app review. The app is called Advanced Agile and Kanban Boards, and this video is sponsored by them. And I want to thank them for sponsoring the video. I also want to thank them for allowing me to explore their amazing app. Before we get into the app itself, I have a confession to make. I'm not a big fan how Jira handles Kanban. Don't get me wrong, I love Kanban. I think that's a great way for mature teams to move their tickets, to make sure you don't have queues, and to get the work done. But let's look at what they have right now. This is one of my projects. It has lots of tickets. We're building a login page, and it's very long. You can see it all the time. Many teams I work in, when I come and look at Kanban boards, it looks very long. Why? Because you need to track your process. You have to do ready for development, then in development, in progress, in testing, ready for testing, ready for staging, test staging, ready for production. You can solve some of it with statuses, add some more statuses to the column. But then if you drag and drop in the wrong place, yeah, it's not the best. The other thing is, well, if I have dependencies, I don't see it here at all. So I might be start working on something and then realizing, well, it's blocked by, by some other ticket. I want to see it all at a glance. I don't have it here. The other thing that I'm not a big fan of is how they handle work in progress limit. Work in progress limit allows you to see that, okay, there's a queue, uh, there's a tr big traffic in one of the columns, let's say, I have in development and I move another ticket to in development. It's red. It says warning. There's too many tickets here, which I think is great, but it doesn't show the real problem. If we look at uh, define agile developer, we see he's working on one, two, three. So he already has three tickets and I only see the problem is in development. So I don't see that he has issues. He's overloaded. And for sure he is. He's working on four tickets at the same time. So it's important for Kanban teams not only to know that your swim lane is overloaded with tickets, but the people themselves has too much to work on. And advanced agile and Kanban boards do solve this. I want to show you how. It's actually very, very interesting. Let's look at the app, let's look at the pricing, and let's look at some of those issues I talked about and how we can solve them with advanced Agile and Kanban boards. So as always, let's go to apps. Let's go to explore more apps. Here, let's put advanced Agile. Once we're here, the first thing we have is advanced Agile and Kanban boards, Cloud Fortified which I really like. It means they have 24 hour response time. They have frequent reliability checks and they are participant in Atlassian cloud security program. So, which is all really, really good. Let's click on it. And now you can see the video, why they decided to build it. And then you can see all the screenshots, but I think what you're interested in is pricing. So let me show you the pricing first. Then I'll show you how it works. Here we go. This is a pricing page. Good news, up to 10 users, it's free, so you can try it out. It actually have free trial. So if you have a bigger team, you still can do free trial. But if you're a smaller team, you can actually use it for free. If you have 100 people team, $70, so 70 cents per user, which is very affordable for what it does. And I'm gonna show you and you'll be very surprised. Actually, let me do that. Let's go and see how it works. Once you sign up for a free trial, you click on apps and you have advanced agile boards. I did set up one already, so I'm going to show you that because it takes some time to set it up. And I'm going to show you some of the features of it as well that solve some of the problems we talked about. So let's click on advanced agile boards. Here we are. So when you click create board, when you first start, I already had added, so I have a little different interface. It will get you to this screen. It has a lot of different boards you can add. Today we're gonna to look at first one, Advanced Kanban Board. Here we are, same project that I showed you in Jira that I imported here in Advanced Kanban Board. I did some setup beforehand because it takes some time, but what it took me like five minutes to do, and it already looks so much more visual. First of all, 
dependencies. You can see right away that I can see all the dependencies at a glance. If I pick up a ticket, work on it, and then realize it blocked by something else, well, I just wasted my time. So this arrows allows you to see all the dependencies at a glance. Solves issue number one. If you want to create a dependency, it's so easy. You just drag and drop the link. Creates any dependency you want. Very easy. I actually love the UI. So easy to work with. Another quick hack I found if you want to create an issue in the um, in the status, in the swim lane, click plus and it will create it in ready for testing. Otherwise, you need to create it and then you need to drag it all across to in testing. So that's an easy, quick hack for you. Another one that I was talking about is long, long boards. So here I did a couple of things. First of all, you can group those swim lanes to have a better visibility where things are. In this particular case, I want to see at what environment is my issues. So I have development where I have all my swim lanes grouped. If you want to create groups, you just click groups and then you can select uh, multiple swim lanes it will put them in a groups. I create three groups. One is for development. I know that it is on a local environment. So uh, it goes from ready for development to ready for staging. Ready for staging means it's still local, not deployed yet. Then I have on staging, which is on staging and ready for production deploy. And I have production. So at a glance, I could see where are those features. I see that login page header is on staging. The rest is still in development. So on my local machine, I need to talk to my team and ask, Hey guys, why are we not deploying anything to staging? What's happening? So those are the questions I can ask and uh, the answers I can get at a glance, which is very important in Kanban because you're bored, your source of truth. The other thing we talked about is work in progress limit. As I told you, I'm not a big fan because only per column. And in our case, the financial developer is overloaded. Here, we can create a vertical swim lanes, which is very robust. You can create anything you want. Here, I created three for, one is Anatoly tickets, one is uh, the financial architect tickets, and one is the financial developer tickets. And here, I can set up work in progress, pair people. So then I can see that the financial developer has too many tickets on their plate. And then we need to move it to somebody else. And to reassign it, you just take it and move it. Once you moved it, everything is great because our work in progress limit, minimum is free, maximum, minimum is one, maximum is free. I can edit it and I can put anything I want. You can, it's very versatile. If you really want to be go really specific and you want to have a work in progress limit per person per column you can also do that you can go to personal work in progress limits and limit work in progress per column per person and then once it's reached you'll have these notifications and you can check who is all worked who is uh, let's say has a lot in testing or in development so that solves another problem and as i said it's super customizable. You can use jQuery filters to customize everything. The issue with the long boards, I'm going to show you how it's solved here. Actually, it's pretty cool. You click on edit, you click on vertical columns, you click on save. And now your columns for development are vertical. Look how smaller this board is now. And then if you want to move, just move one. move again so this saves you space but it also again improves visibility kanban is very visual framework so as much visibility as we can get the better and then if you don't like those dependencies you can turn them off if you want to get some statistics you can turn them on you can see how many items are in each column it's very versatile if you want to select projects you can do that you want to do quick, quick filters, which you need to go to board settings and do a bunch of things here. You just click on plus button. It's done. Search it has everything you need. You can zoom out. You can zoom in. 
I would go as far to say it's probably a future of Kanban. These guys are working with Kanban University, so they are they know what they are doing, and they're solving real problems. Uh, this makes Kanban much more usable. It allows you to see issues in your team at a glance very quickly, so you can resolve them. And I think for Kanban, very important because everything is on one board. There's definitely more features to explore. It can be customized in so many ways, but I just wanted to show you what some of my problems this app solves, and I think it does it very well. I'll put a link to it up top, down below. Sign up for free trial. Check it out. I'm sure you'll like it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. If you like what you see, subscribe and like. Let's spread it to more and more people. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to the next one. Bye-bye.